Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with the first installment of Ask Me, and I'm calling it Ask Matt. And uh, hopefully I'll do these every once in a while. This is the first one. I asked you guys on Twitter if you have any questions and you guys tweeted them at me. These can be questions about anything tech related, uh, car related, I like car stuff and there's a question about that in here or just life stuff in general. Anything you wanna know, you can ask me over on Twitter and uh, after this video, you can ask them in the comments below. The first question is from Chris Ninja 1000 on Twitter and I've been going back and forth with him for a little while now. He asks, how did I get into tech and cars? So if you didn't know, I like cars. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a little while ago, I went to Cars and Coffee here in Irvine, and I'll be going again this week, where you can just see a whole bunch of different cool cars and uh, just hang out with people that love cars. It's pretty awesome. And of course, I like technology, considering this is a tech-related channel, for the most part, at least right now. But anyways, how did I get into tech? Well, I'm not entirely sure how to answer that. It kind of just happened. But back in eighth grade, which is about eight years ago, maybe nine, it's been a while, but... Uh, we got the first iPod. My family did. We got the iPod Classic. Well, it wasn't called the Classic then, but it was the iPod with video. It was the first one with video. We bought it for some reason. I really have no idea why, but we did, and I'm glad we did because that really got me into technology, and uh, I really just loved the loved the user interface and how it worked, and the iPod was really, really simple to use, and it was really cool. But what really got me into tech even farther is one of my uh, friends got a MacBook Pro, one of the first, the first MacBook Pro, the first generation. He got one when I was in eighth grade as well. And I just loved that thing. I had a Windows computer at the time and it was just giving me so many problems. And I, you know, that's just all I knew. I used Windows my entire life. But once I saw that MacBook Pro, I was just like, wow, this is totally different and it's awesome and I want it. And I finally got my own MacBook um, a little while later there. And then it was all uphill from there, I guess. Usually say downhill, but it was all uphill from there. And here we are today. And how did I get into cars? Kind of the same story, I don't really know how, but it's just one of those things I've always liked. You know, the Fast and the Furious movies and stuff, you watch those movies and you just get so excited. And if you like cars, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things that just gets you excited. And then I have my own car now, which you'll be seeing a little bit more of soon. And I just, I just love those two things. I don't really know how, just kind of built into me, I guess. At Xenos Tech ask, how did I get into YouTube? And it's, the answer is kind of similar to a lot of people's, I think. There was a YouTuber back in the day called It's Me Morpheus, and he did primarily reviews on cases for the iPhones. Now, he doesn't make videos anymore, unfortunately, but his videos are awesome, and I think they really inspired a lot of people, and they certainly inspired me. If you find some of my original videos, not on this channel, but on my other channel, which I'm not gonna mention, it's easy to find, so you just gotta go look for it. Um, well, maybe I'll put it down in the description. We'll see. But if you go watch those videos, you'll see that they're very similar to It's Me Morpheus, because I really love that style, and I thought it was really cool. And I was reviewing iPhone cases. I had like 32 cases for the iPhone 3G at the time. I, I loved cases, and now I don't even use a case. Look at this. No case, but I loved cases at the time and that's what I was doing and just reviewing those horrible, horrible quality, horrible videos, but um, it was fun. But then I took a little bit of a break. I just like stopped making videos for whatever reason. Oh, I remember why now. I lost my iPhone 3G. It got stolen from me at a track meet. And so I had to switch to a little flip phone for a while. So I just stopped making videos because I didn't have anything to make a video on. But once I got it again, I started it up again. And uh, now we have this channel here, which is much, much more successful and has a better brand. At iPad Bro W ask, if I could have any piece of equipment for YouTube videos, what would it be? And I have two answers for this. One is actually a piece of equipment and one is just something that would make my videos better, I think. The first is uh, a new camera. I'm using the Nikon P7700 to record most of my videos now. That's pretty compact and I've had it for a little while. It's a great quality camera and shoots pretty great video. But usually what I use is my DSLR, which is the Nikon 7, D7000, which is okay, but it's not very good for video. I love it for, for photography, but for video, it's just not that good. But I really want a new camera, something with a full frame sensor or something like the GH4, which is 4K, just something with better quality because the quality out of the D7000 just really isn't that good. It's a lot of noise and I just don't like it that much. So a new camera would be awesome, but something more that would just make my videos better, I think is a studio or somewhere that is specifically built for making videos. Right now I do it in my bedroom or right now I'm actually in my girlfriend's apartment in the living room and you know, it's fine. It looks good. The lighting's okay and it's, it works, but having a studio that's dedicated to making videos, I think would be amazing and would really, uh, just make my videos look a lot better. And last but not least, my girlfriend on Twitter asked if I'm gonna make her dinner tonight or tomorrow, but that was yesterday, so tonight. 
Uh, and the answer to that is watch the vlog. So you can see the vlog. I put it out every single weekend and you guys can watch what I did throughout the week. And we usually do some pretty interesting stuff. Like this week we're going to Cars and Coffee and uh, hopefully another YouTuber will be joining me and you'll see that in the vlog as well. So go check those out if you haven't already. So that's it for the first installment of Ask Matt. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave some questions down below for the next episode that will should be coming out in, I don't know when, but it will be coming out at some point. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Matt D. Gonzalez. The links will be down below so that you can see when I tweet out to ask for questions for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.